Hi everybody, welcome to day 8 of ARD countdown series for NABARD grade 2025 and first let's discuss yesterday's question. Question number 1 for yesterday was which modern farming system grows plants without soil using um, nutrient solution. So basically in this particular system which is hydroponics what happens the plants are directly they are being implanted in a pipeline where directly water new, water mixed with nutrients is being discharged into it. So here actual mein soil nahi required hoti hai seedha jo nutrient solution hai usse jo plants hai wo absorb karte hai nutrients ko. Coming to question number two precision agriculture is also called. So precision agriculture is also known as digital agriculture. Why? Because it uses AI and data technology for it to function. The aim is that using all the technologies like GPS uh, or uh, image satellite imaginary or other such uh, AI to tools uh, to actually you know survey the particular area properly so that uh, accordingly what are actual inputs that are required only that is given so input co cost is very less and we have the desirable productivity all right coming to question number three which of the following is not a benefit of system of rice intensification this is a method in which what happens uh, initially water shock is given to the plants uh, because see rice generally it requires flooded uh, flood in that particular area for at the initial phases to grow okay so what happens initial uh, water shock is given to the seedlings because of that what happens the roots they start to grow more in the search of water now when the roots have been elongated normal water quantity is being discharged into the field because um, now there are more roots and longer roots they would absorb more nutrients and uh, because of that what would happen uh, more and more shoot formation yeah tiller formation hogi, wo hogi. the more the shoots or tiller the more grain uh, will be grow uh, will be uh, developed in that particular plant so this is the whole concept of SRI here if you look actually 20 100% yield increase dekha gaya hai reduction in 90% of seed use bhi dekha gaya hai isme 50% uh, of water saving hoti hai elimination of need for transplanting this is not a benefit of SRI because uh, because transplanting is done here also but it's just in conventional method 20 to 30 days approx after transplanting is done but here in this case around 8 to 12 days after it is done but the catch is that in the conventional way in clutch or clusters these seedlings are being grown but here individual seedlings are grown that is why you know that 90% reduction in seed rate is because of that and finally yes it has economic benefit with le less input now which of the following crop is most suitable for nutrient management for crop diversification this is question number one for today question number two the conversion period for perennial crops to shift from conventional to organic farming is at least and what is the key feature of national uh, farming that is zero budget natural farming comment down your answers and we will discuss in the next class Thank you.